Welcome back everybody. This is part five of our denim fabric journal. And if you remember where we left off, we had completed, well not com you know completed, but we've got the start of the front and then um, on the back. And we will come back later and add some embellishments to that. So we've done this section. And so now I'm going to move on to this page. Um, and we're going to make something for this. And then starting from the back, uh, same thing here. Um, this is generally how I embellish because I try to make sure that I've got my embellishing fairly equal um, within the journal because otherwise once you start on a journal like this because I've put a lot of pages in this what would tend to happen if I start from front going to the back I'll end up with a massive amount of embellishments here and the journal is so big that I tend to, it tends to be too sparse in the back so this is just something you know personal preference for me on how I like to do it so, get these clipped, and I'm going to share with you guys today um, another little idea. This is something I've picked up along the way uh, through some of my courses, and I hadn't really shared how to do this. Uh, I felt a bit funny about it, but it's been out there long enough now that I'm happy to go ahead and share with you guys. I just think it's a really clever little pocket. And I think we're going to make one for here. And what it is, is that will flip up. You can have a pocket here, and this will open up. And this is made from an envelope. So we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. You, you might be able to figure it out just by looking, but uh, for those of you maybe who are new, um, now you can use this. <coughs> Excuse me, with any envelope. Hang on, guys. Let me just go ahead and get my nails in gym. You can use this with any size envelope, but because I'm working in uh, pages that are four and, just over four and a quarter and by six inches high, this envelope size works perfectly, which is a seven inch by a five. So what you're going to do, tea dye your envelope and I would say <clears throat> go with a good quality because of it being tea dyed. Some of them will come unglued and some of them will rip really easily so um, you might want to spend just a little bit more and get a better quality envelope. So just decide what is the center, and don't get too stressed out about it. And just take one side and fold it over, and you see what's happening there. And then this side, you're going to do the same thing, but don't overlap them. Just leave just a tiny, tiny gap between that so that it lays nice and flat. And that's what you're going to end up with, but you now want to just snip out this little corner. And this just makes the really cutest little pocket. As I said, I learned this from Robin uh, Dudley Howe, who is on YouTube. Robin offers quite a few courses, and uh, I've taken several from her now. <clears throat> so I do want to give credit to her. And like I said, I would not have shown you guys this, except that I know... Um, there's already tutorials out there from other people, so I'm okay to share that with you now. It's a funny thing, because when you purchase, you know, the courses, 
just out of respect for the person that's put it together. I, I don't generally like to, but once I see that other people have adapted it, then, and I wouldn't put it probably on YouTube, but for you guys, um, I'm happy to do it. So what I'm doing now is just, again, my Prima background stamp. I'm just doing a little bit. You don't need to worry about the back because that's not going to be shown. But just lightly stamp this. You can add, um, I have in the past added I've decoupage napkins. Do it however you want to, but for this one, I'm going to just have it stamped. Um, I'm happy with it just being stamped. So there we go. So that is going to get glued down there, but before I do that, I'm going to make a little <coughs> fabric tag. And what I've done is just some cotton fabric. And I've just torn a little piece that's about three and three quarter by two and a quarter. And then I'm just going to make this into the shape of a little a little tag. So I should iron that really. It's a bit wrinkled. I just got it shoved in my drawer, so I probably ought to press that. Oh, but then that means getting the ironing board out and the iron. <laughs> See, this is what I do. I end up just talking myself right out of it. <laughs> That's just entirely too much work. Alrighty, let me just grab a button and then I'm going to put some pretty little laces under there. Try not to get anything too thick because... Again, it's just going to add more bulk to your journal. Alrighty, let me grab a little bit of... Uh, let me see what I've got here, guys. Oh, lordy, the lace I've got. Just little snippets. <clears throat> stuff that's... Um, this is kind of a nice little piece. It's a bit thick, but... I like that. And then, uh, all right, let's get that sewn on. So today, after I'm done with this, I'll, um, I'm going to go down and work on some more keto recipes. I've, um, I told you guys, <clears throat> I think I shared with you, I did some brownies the other day, and they were so good. But I think today, I found one for a lemon melt-away, which looks like the wedding cookies. So I think I'm going to try to play around with that recipe. It says it's a keto recipe, but when I looked on it, it's got flour and it's also got sugar. And I'm thinking, ah, uh, hello, that's not keto. So I don't know. I think it's because it's such small amounts, she reckons. So I've got to adapt it because, uh, you know, Paul's <clears throat> borderline diabetic. So we're trying to get the sugar out of our diet. So I may have to play around with that uh, recipe a bit. But it, they do sound nice because I love lemon in a dessert. So I'll let you guys know if that comes out. Um, if, it, if the recipe comes out and you're interested, I'll share it. Okay. Alrighty, righty, righty, righty. Where are we now? So... I probably really should press that. Okay, yeah, I've, you guys have guilted me into pressing that. So, all I'm going to do is just glue that to it. And then again, I think I'm going to glue this on three sides. So I've got a pocket here. <clears throat> That's going to flip open. 
and then we've got this big pocket. So that's one little element that we're going to add to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, my throat, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, that is done. Now we just need to do something here. So I think I'll just, this is some leftover paper. Let me just make a really simple pocket here. About three and a half by two and a half quarter. Let me see. This was just a little leftover. I'm just thinking I might cut that down and stitch that on there just for a little. Uh, where did I snip that three? Three and a quarter. So I'm just trimming this down. And I think I might try to find a little piece of lace to go under that, too. Oh, let me see here. <clears throat> That's probably going to bulk up if I put that little piece. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Mm, yeah, let me see if I can stitch that. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> just take that to the machine and run that under there because I kind of like the look of that. And then I'll come back and cut that off. So, uh, yes, okay guys, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I've just stitched that. And then I found this little label and I thought I'll just add that as well. I just love those papers. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, do let me know how you're liking these so that I'll know what to, um, what sort of things to try to share with you here. I want to make sure I try to keep it varied and interesting. And as I said to you in the past, it's not easy to come up with um, unique ideas, but hopefully, yeah, I'm hoping it's enough that everybody's enjoying. Their time here. 
So I'm just going to let that dry because that tacky glue will probably take slightly longer. I haven't used it very much. Um, trying to replace the Fabri-Tac. And uh, although it seems to be fine, and what I love is no smell, but it's hard on my hand because I'm starting to have trouble with that thumb. And I am finding this is difficult to grip, so I'm not sure that's going to be a solution or not. But all right, so what I'm going to do is just press this, glue that to that. That's going to be done. And then, of course, I'll need to make a journal card for that. Because I probably will make a journal card, and then I'll need something back there as well. Um, let's just go ahead. I'm going to add a couple of little things to the center here. Uh, let me just get a couple of little hearts, I think. And just any piece of scrap. I'm just I've got this left over, so I'll just do four little hearts for the center there. Okay, so let me just have a quick look through, because we've been working on this for a while. It, I need to look back through and just see. So we need to do something on these. do something on the back of that as well. So this might be a good one to do a little flip out here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Yes, when I get into this space, something really gets me going in here. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do a little flip out pocket, I think. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. <coughs> okay, this is some extra paper. This might be really pretty to make something that will flip over there. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Three and a half, so four and a half, five.
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get this trimmed down. <clears throat> I think I've got this right. If I don't, I'll trim off some more. So I know I'm going to allow an inch. Let me just go ahead and score that. Probably don't need that much, but yeah, I won't do that much. I hope I've cut this right. I might have cut it too large. flip over. So I'm going to make a large pocket up here. So the first thing I want to do is uh, cut that out quickly. That's going to show. And I'm going to run this and stitch around this to create a nice big pocket, and then we'll decide on the front and the back. Be right back. Okay, guys, I have stitched that now, and so we will get that added in. A little bit of glue here. Okay, so now going, remember we're going back here, and so let's do something with this, this page. And, let's see here. <clears throat> and so this is uh, one of the embellishments that we made together on... Uh, on here and so this I'm going to use for this page that will just perfect yep so let me get that glued and then we'll have that ready so it's coming along and again you know everybody's different on the amount of writing space that they want to leave some people want something on every page, um, so, you know, this is just a, a guideline on how, I tend to, um, approach, you know, a new journal, and then the main thing was teaching you, you know, the cover, but, <clears throat> I would definitely add, so that's got the belly band, that pocket, that pocket. So that's like three elements on that side. So this is a uh, mailer. Let me add a bit of glue to that. That 
that's been uh, coffee dyed, so let me glue a little bit more down that. So I know that's going to be a good spot to add a pocket there. And again, on this side, I would do the same here, maybe a tuck spot or something. So we'll we'll work on that on the next bit. And uh, and then on the other thing, we need to get these closure. I think what I've decided is just to keep it a simple because I was playing around let me grab my stuff here with some of these seam binding and I really like the pink so I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to go with like a a couple of eyelets I like the idea of that just as the closure. I think that's just so pretty. I love how this is coming out. And you can already see, look at how chunky that's already getting. So um, I won't overfill it because I'll, we'll do another part to this guys um, to add some embellishments, but you get the idea on where I'm going with it. And I it would, you know, each person's different. So we'll just finish up in the next section with some tags and and um, a few more pockets and tucks and things. And then um, I will carry on <clears throat> before I sell it and finish it off myself. But I think that's what we'll do for the closure. I'm pretty sure. Um, I need to do a tag for that as well. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. So anyways, thank you guys for joining me for this part. And I think we will finish it off in the next one because I don't want to drag on too long. Because, um, you know, it just it just get too, too long if we carry and people lose interest. So, alrighty guys, I hope you're all safe and well. And I'll be back, be watching for the next part. Uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.